In an interesting article in regards to smokers and PCBs, this was published in the Public Library of Science, otherwise known as the PLOS online, this May 2014. And this is in regards to a study called, do a little different color here, called the PIVIS study. Now what the PIVIS study did is they looked at 1,000 people, men and women, around the age of 70 or older, and they followed them for eight years. All right, and this is what they discovered. When you had a person that was a non-smoker, they used them as the baseline. So look at the survival and mortality rate of non-smokers. Smokers normally would have a 40% higher mortality rate of dying. Yeah, that's a skull and crossbones. 40% uh, higher mortality rate of dying over non-smokers over an eight year period of time. But if you were a smoker and you had high levels of what's called PCBs, polychlorinated biphenols in the blood, your chance of dying, your different color ink here, over eight years was increased 640% over non-smokers. So, if you got PCB exposure or you're a smoker, watch your PCBs. You'll find a lot in processed foods and chemicals. PCB was banned 20 years ago but guess what? It's still everywhere. Now here is the rough part, especially for former smokers. If you are a former smoker, per se, grab this for a second. If you are a former smoker and you still had high levels of PCBs in the blood, your chance of dying, good luck trying to read this, but you get the idea. Your chance of dying over eight years was increased 370%. So, I don't want to basically say as far as doom anybody along those lines or anything along that, but here's the catch. 370%, if you were a smoker at all, it is really a good idea that you eat as clean as you possibly can. To go organic, avoid a lot of plastics or chemicals that may be high in PCBs. Definitely ways to stay away from a lot of processed meats, and especially processed butters. Again, Public Library of Science is May 2014. Thank you.